issues that the transition movement is concerned about and works to address are climate change, peak oil or energy depletion in general, and economic instability. Transition talks about you know peak oil is happening, climate change is happening, and economic thing, you know, and, and the world is changing. And so, what are we going to do about it? And it doesn't say. And, and the things that you do about it are mostly involved with what's called not called mitigation, not trying to prevent the things, it's called adaptation. You know, the world is changing, how are we going to adapt to make our world, the world that we're going to, the changes we see, a little more palatable. So it's just recognizing that it's happening. I didn't know about transition, and so when I learned about it, I said, gee, this is bringing together a lot of the things that I'm interested in and care about, and um, so I should get involved. So, I contacted, uh, I think maybe Conrad through the website. Oh, the monthly, just when, yeah. we, they, when, we, when our little group gets together. Yeah, it's how many people is that? Five, five? six, seven. I mean, it's just, it, it's, not, it's just a small, it's what we call the initiating group. You know, the initiating group is the catalyst in the community to sort of get things going. Mm -hmm. But it's a mistake for people to think that. The initiating group is Transition Nube Report. The uh, Transition Nube Report, if it, when it comes, when it finally starts to really be something, will be the community mm -hmm. of people here who have gotten the spark. I'd say our challenge is to um, come up with programs, um, activities that will attract the people who are interested in becoming active. I think it's a different answer for different people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people are uh, just too busy to commit to anything more in their lives mm -hmm. of, of any sort. That, that you know, some people are uh, <coughs> suspicious, or or I mean, they just they're just not ready to do anything like that. <laughs> some people are. Um, you know, they, we, we're not we're not offering what they need. I guess. But, you know, not, not that we can, I don't know what that it would be, but it's just, and then, and then some people have to, you know, they don't feel the urgency. I think that's the biggest thing in our, you know, that a lot of people, people don't yet feel the urgency mm -hmm. of uh, any of the issues. Some, some, some yeah. They understand that it's, if things aren't really right, or as easy as we thought they would be, but they don't really understand how urgent it is that we start doing something different. What I liked about transition when I first learned about it was it's grounded in science. I mean, I, I'm a science background, so I can appreciate that. But it's grounded in a, you know, a factual information as best we know it. Mm -hmm. And but it also really incorporates the spirit of we're not telling you what to do as a solution. You know, you should develop it. There's a different solution for every community out there, mm -hmm. and that you should talk with your neighbors and, and come together as a town and figure out the game plan on your own. And I think that has been shown in a lot of case studies for organizing that really works in many ways. And it also really opens the door for people to buy into the idea. Yeah. Of, hey, I, I've got some great input. I, you know, I can be a part of this. I've got something to offer. And, my voice is going to be heard, and, and they feel that if they can be included in that process, then the outcome is being going to be something that they're going to be okay with, yeah. versus someone proposing a policy that, you know, can't please everybody all the time. You're going to have half the people on board and half the people against it. Yeah. It's compelling. And I, when I first learned about it, I said, well, this is, this is what I've been you know, waiting for. I just didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was called. I didn't know. It, but I've been learning about all of this forever and seeing that you know, we, as a society, we didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And I guess the other thing I would say is that I like what, what would appeal to me about transition from the beginning to a lot of things. I mean, it's, it's not political. It could actually be a better world than the world we live in now because it's building stronger communities, um, using fewer resources, less energy. Interconnection. What they call the cheerful disclaimer is that if we wait for government, if we expect government to do what needs to be done, it'll be too little, too late. If we try to do it ourselves, as individuals, we know it'll be too little. 
but if we work as a community, uh, it just might be enough in time to make a little difference. You know, make a difference. It's, it's, a, it's an experiment. We don't know if it'll work or not. Because I think if you, once you understand what, 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 what track the world is on, it's not very hopeful that it's going to be a, a good outcome. But it, you know, what this is trying to make, we're trying to make the outcome better than it would be if we don't do anything.